Aloha Scooterheads and fans of two-wheel transportation in general. I'm Dagwood Streets, host of the Electric Scooter Podcast, available on any platform that you can think of wherever people listen to podcasts. Hopefully you watched part one and two linked below. This is part three, a little different. Part one and two, I went from South Las Vegas Boulevard north. Both parts one and two and kind of pointed out restaurants as I went along. This time I'm taking Tropicana west from the strip and then making a let make a left turn onto Rainbow. And then in a couple miles there's restaurants on both sides. You wake up in your hotel, you take a quick dip in the pool, and you're hungry. You don't want to jump on that stupid train to nowhere, and it's really far to walk, or you're going to eat at the same places that are in your casino. Maybe you got access to a vehicle, and you can head into different parts of Las Vegas to see what other people eat. One thing I've noticed that's interesting here, people who come and visit me in Las Vegas tell me that there used to be some certain chain, could be hamburgers, could be chili dogs, could be Italian, whatever it is, they used to have in their hometown. And a branch came to Vegas. Subsequently, the one in their hometown closed down. So they travel to Vegas to eat their hometown food. There are just so many chains here, but there's also a lot of mom and pops. And there's just a lot of great places to eat in Las Vegas. Not all of them are on the Strip. So you're a fan of motorcycles, you're a fan of two wheels, you're a fan of electric scooters, you're a fan of food, you're a fan of Vegas. Maybe this video is for you. Enjoy. Aloha. Part three. I'm never getting out of here. I am never getting out of here. I'm going to do a U-turn, I guess. I can't think of anything else unless I want to sit here and wait and go left. Might be a better solution. As long as some car doesn't clip me from behind. Always keep it in gear. I don't always do that, but you should always keep it in gear when you're to stop on a motorcycle. And uh, keep your eyes on your mirrors so somebody doesn't blast up from behind you. It's happened. I know people it's happened to. It happened to me. Luckily, I was not on a motorcycle. Come on, bus, give me a break. But uh, I was in my truck, and a lady who I happen to know, a Korean lady in Hawaii, wasn't paying attention. She was checking her makeup in her rear view mirror. And she hit the car behind me. And the car behind me hit me. I was staring in the rear view mirror at the time and saw it coming. You know, when you ride a motorcycle, it actually helps your driving and a car skills because you're more alert and more aware because your mind is just in that mode. When you're on a motorcycle, you're a defensive driver. I mean, you've got to know when to be offensive, you know, when to be a little bit aggressive, because a little bit of throttle will get you out of trouble a hundred times more than the brake. Finally, got a little wind. It's over 100 degrees. Dickie's Barbecue Pit on the right. Cannot recommend that. Another place that's not good. Got the Pizza Lounge to the right. Taco Smell, I mean Taco Bell. To the left, El Pollo Loco, Denny's, and Freddy's Custards. So we're at the corner of Russell and South Rainbow. We turn around at Tropicana, why? Because Tropicana, if you head east towards Henderson, towards the Strip, you'll end up at that great giant intersection right in the heart of the Strip, what I call the Strip. And I don't wanna keep going north 
because well, this side, it's not so bad. Jeez, come on, dude. Give me a break. Too loud. So, sorry, man. I'm trying to do a moto vlog here. I can't have a giant truck creeping up right next to me. So if you keep going north, you know, Las Vegas in Spanish means the meadows. El Norte de Las Vegas no es mi Las Vegas. It's just not my part of town. I'm not familiar with it. Don't like it that much particularly. I mean, it's okay. Sorry, anybody who lives up there. I'm just saying I just prefer south and west. When I come to Las Vegas, I like south and I like west. And it's nothing to do with the people or, you know, before you flame me in the comments. Everything in south and west is new. So if you like new sidewalks, new restaurants. If you like the old school stuff with full grown trees and all that, yeah, go north. Also, north has more HOAs. Most of the housing areas in Las Vegas have HOAs. If you're planning on being a real estate mogul and coming to Las Vegas and doing Airbnb, do not buy a house with an HOA because it's illegal. And I find that the areas that don't have an HOA, there are pockets, of course, in the north, and there are some good ones. Firehouse subs to the left. But you gotta know those pockets. It seems to me there are more down here in the south. The way Las Vegas developed was interesting, which is why both sides of the strip, when you go south, are horse country. Isn't that crazy? Closer to the strip are the older homes with more property, well water. Yes, they have a well. That's how they get their water. A lot of them. The newer places don't have a well, don't have gas for heating, and are HOA. So the South kind of has a good combination I like. Of, you can still find places on well water. Is well water a good thing? In some respects, it is. There's a Greek chicken to the left as we're coming up over the 215 freeway by the Potbelly Sandwich Shop. Oh, there's an In-N-Out 7-Eleven. So this is a 215 freeway that we're going over. Arroyo Crossing has every story you would ever want there on the right. As I was saying, the south and west of Vegas, you can find a place to have a horse that's right next to the strip. If you want to do Airbnb, you probably want to look in this area because you can find a place that has no housing association. That's what HOA is. Housing, I don't know what the O is. <laughs> is it the O after house? I don't know. HOA. So again, we there's the mall we just passed. We were in uh, with Zupa's Clove Indian Restaurant, Toasty Roll. To the right, Cane's Chicken Fingers. I don't like them. People love them. They get in line for it. I don't like it. Call me picky, call me whatever. I just don't like their chicken wangs. They seem to have some kind of chemical film on them and they're dry and they're just not like you make them at home. Okay, Warm Springs. Remember the two W's, Warm Springs and Wigwam. Any of these strip malls in here are great. But I particularly like the one that has goons and Soyo and Oishi. Those are all go-to restaurants. They're all good. To the right here, we've got uh, Asian Market, Rainbow Kitchen, Chinese, Village Pub, which is a chain I've heard. They have really standard American fare, but for people who like that, I've heard it's good, even though it's a chain. We have Pho and Vietnamese Grill. 
Pizza Hut, salt and spoon. I want to go right, but there's an idiot over here. He's only an idiot because he's where I want to go. He's, he's probably a very nice <laughs> guy. <laughs> he's only an idiot for eight seconds because he's occupying the space that I want to occupy. So we're going to have to make a little U-turn here again. Guy on a big Harley making a tight U-turn. How are we going to do? Give me a grade. A for awesome or F for failure. This is tight. It's tight, people, I'm telling you. Oh, come on. Nothing to that. Are you kidding me? Is that all you got? Is that all you got to throw at me? Come on. Lofty Cafe. Also in here is a Chinese-Korean restaurant called Yushan. Omoide, which in Japanese means memory. It's an izakaya. If you know what an izakaya is, izakaya is a type of restaurant. See, here's something a motorcycle can get away with at a car camp. Izakaya is a typically serves beer and Japanese, which you would call pub food. They usually have in front a tanuki, which I don't see here. We're not in Japan. Tanuki is some kind of badger, some kind of animal. When you see that statue in Japan, you know you're at an izakaya. So there's omoide, which I believe means memories in Japanese. There it is, Gung's bar Korean barbecue. Next to it is Yushang. A little further down is we're gonna see Oishi, and we're gonna see Soyo. Takumi, I haven't eaten there. Zen Curry House to the right. There's, it says Thai restaurant, Lucky Thai Bistro. Never eaten there. Have to try that sometime. Twisted Chimney next to the church's chicken. It says European Chimney Cakes. Ice cream, sweet and savory. There's Ohana Hawaiian barbecue. Taste. Chinese live seafood, Taiwan deli, not very smelly, So this is right next door to the plaza that has Gung and Soyo, two of my go-to places, two of my go-to Korean places. And the name of this shopping center is Santoli Shopping Center. 
You can see they have Poke Bowl, Cream Berry, Taiwan Deli. I want to say I ate a Taiwan Deli. I did my. Oh no, I ate a Taiwan Deli on the East Coast. Coco Donuts over there. Cream Berry. Sweet Poke. I've eaten there. It is good. The Butcher Block. They have uh, their own deli inside. And there's the Taiwan Deli. Taste Chinese live seafood and Hawaiian barbecue next to the Twisted Chimney. And then your next shopping center over has Gung's Soyo and Oishi. That is the place to go to. <laughs> well, they have a big flag. That's, that's one way to remember the place. If you're headed north on South Rainbow, it'll be on the left, and you'll see a big flag. Good thing to remember. Good to know. So between the two W's are my go-to places. I think you saw a lot of offerings, a lot of variety, things to choose from. If you want to eat, just come to South Rainbow. You will not be disappointed no matter what kind of food you like. I won't continue to name the restaurants. We named them as we came up South Rainbow. We were south headed north. Now we are north headed south and back home. 